Hey, good morning to you. Good afternoon. Mark again here, Weather Man Plus. It's Thursday, May 6, and I have a few things I want to talk to you about, especially the weather that's happening in the near future, plus especially on Mother's Day. I want to make sure everybody knows exactly what could be going on for Mother's Day as you travel. Now, if you've never been here before, good morning to you. <laughs> My name is Mark. I do upload every single day, uh, just not Friday from sundown to Saturday at sundown. That's when I take my Sabbath. So hit that subscribe button if you've never been here before. Thank you for joining our community. And if y'all like what this video is about, hit that like button. Help show support to the channel. Let people know what Mother's Day forecast could be like. Now, this right here, this is on Twitter, guys. This is from Noah. Uh, also, while you go there, in case you don't do YouTube all the time, to get notified when you're not on YouTube, Twitter notifies you everywhere, so make sure you hit my link in the description. Follow me on Twitter. This right here, guys, this was captured by NOAA's satellites. It's an imagery of large thunderstorms erupting along the dry line over Texas. That way you can see exactly what it looks like from the satellites as these severe weather does spark up. And this is what it looks like as they continue to track it to see exactly what's going on with the severe thunderstorms and the hail. This is what it looks like from the satellites for the severe weather, the thunderstorms, all the lightning that you have in those th thunderstorms. And this is what the full run looks like as it goes through night and day. Good time to tell you what the videos are. The one on the very top shows you the precipitation rate as far as what's going to happen with this rain from early Sunday morning all the way to late Sunday night. Uh, the, the brown is half an inch of rainfall. The light green is an inch. The dark green is two inches. That way you can kind of see what's going on as far as that day, what's going on with the rain. Now the one right above my head, that shows you the possibility of infrared satellite from Euro. It does show you the possible thunderstorms and severe weather that could be passing through from Sunday early a.m. Till, till Sunday late at night all the way to 10 p.m. So you can see exactly what could be if you are traveling. As well as your power outage update, a lot of people did get their power back. That's a good thing. God bless all of you. I'm so glad you got your power back. Mississippi is still getting hit. Uh, about an hour ago, it was at 22,000. Now it's grown still, 23,300 without power. So Mississippi is definitely the biggest one getting hit, along with everybody else still without power. And central Alabama is getting hit with a lot of rainfall. A lot of these totals are 6 inches, 5 inches, 4 inches, 8 inches. This is some very heavy rainfall that they got, especially for around Birmingham, Alabama. Now, as far as our severe weather alerts, now all these links I will put in the description right below the timestamps. And oh yeah, don't forget to use the timestamps. <laughs> they are right in the description below the video. So on day one for today, this is all the weather that we're going to be having today with the marginal in the green and the marginal for Florida. They are getting a lot of storms right now, but there is no tornado. There is some wind and there is some hail that's going along with those same areas, but there is no tornado warning for today. This does update as you click on it every single time. So again, this link will be in the description. For tomorrow, this is where you're going to be seeing thunderstorms with a marginal growing right here in the green for thunderstorms. But again, tomorrow, no tornado watches so far. There is some wind and there is some hail that will be in that marginal area. So you need to be aware of that. Again, this link will be in the description. And for Saturday, they, there is a slight risk with this marginal for severe weather for Saturday. But if you look at it, you can see there's also a significant chance for severe right here near Wichita, Kansas. So you need to watch out for Saturday. There is going to be a little bit of severe weather. When you look through your eight-day outlook from National Weather Service, on day four, there used to be a 15% for severe weather chance. That has actually been gone. So if you've seen somebody showing you that today, you know their video is old because that just updated. There is no severe weather for day four, for Sunday, for Mother's Day. It has disappeared. It was an area right over Kansas and Oklahoma, 15%. Now it's gone. Matter of fact, I'm not showing that there is going to be any southern really severe weather. There's going to be a little strip in the possibility but it's not like people are claiming. This is mostly going to be central U.S. and move up towards the northeast or Ohio Valley. Now, according to the GFS, we'll have a surface low pressure come early Sunday morning about 1 a.m. And it's not showing any severe for the south. Like I said, these storms are building up right here in the central U.S. And it will be going towards the Ohio Valley. As you go through your day, this is early in the morning, 7 a.m. It'll start spreading some moisture down to the south but mostly it's in Ohio Valley. The south is going to be later in the afternoon. Then as you go to 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., you can see it's still in Ohio Valley for the rainfall, for any possible storms. 
It's just light rain going to the south. Then around 4 p.m., it will start brewing up some thunderstorms, some rainfall in the south while this moves over. 7 p.m., it starts getting a little stronger. Then by 10 p.m., you really got a chance for some rainfall that could go all the way into Monday as it goes by. Uh, both models are showing different things. I'll show you the Euro as well. And this shows you your 24-hour rainfall rate within a 24-hour period. From 7 p.m. Saturday as you go into Sunday early a.m. and then Sunday at 7 a.m., now it starts building up a little bit. Uh, all this green is all a quarter inch, but this red is one to possible two inches as it goes along. Then as you go to 1 p.m., you can see it's still up here in Ohio Valley. 7 p.m. it stays in this Ohio Valley with very light amounts in the south. Then as you go into 1 a.m. in the morning, it does add up a little bit more rainfall now in the south. And it does move over towards Pennsylvania a little bit as you go into Monday. And there is a possible hot spot in Mississippi. Now, as we watch that track and see what the thunderstorms possibility could be in all that rain, you can see all the thunderstorms all morning long are pretty much going across central U.S., across to the Ohio Valley, and the south will spark up later in the evening into the overnight hours. First half of the day, South, south, you're not going to have any any thunderstorms, maybe some light rain uh, across Arkansas, Louisiana, eastern Texas. But the Midwest to the Ohio Valley, y'all going to have the rain come all morning to the evening. And as it becomes nighttime, when the south gets the storms, the Ohio Valley is going to be clear. So it's going to go back and forth. As well as some possible wind gusts could be in these storms. I will show you the difference between the GFS and a Euro. This is still the GFS. And as you go into the early a.m. till 7 o'clock in the morning, it starts weakening down within those storms you saw going to Ohio Valley. It's mostly got 30s and 40s along with it. But then as you go into later evening, then it starts building up a little bit for uh, Monday as, as it moves towards the mid-Atlantic and the northeast. But it's not showing a lot of heavy uh, wind. There is impossible for some high 40s as it goes through Kentucky, especially western Kentucky as you get through the noontime. I'm not seeing a lot of winds. It's going to start off with some winds in Oklahoma and Kansas, but they're going to dissipate very quickly. And your temperatures, don't, don't forget, you do have the, that Arctic air that is coming down. It's not going to be terrible, terrible, but it will make a difference. Matter of fact, you're going to start into your early a.m. pretty on the chilly side in the north and nice and warm in the south. And as you go through your day, the storm's going to pass through, bringing some 40s with it. As it goes, the northeast is going to be a little warm and nice. South is going to be nice and warm. But then it's going to change and just switch over towards northeast as the evening comes along into the overnight hours. And it starts getting chillier that night. But the daytime is pretty nice. You have warm temperatures in Midwest, Michigan, northeast, and the south. It's just a strip going with the rain across the Ohio Valley. It is bringing 40s temperatures with it. And the possible rainfall that could be coming according to the GFS. Uh, the GFS shows that it is a little bit northern. The Euro shows that this will be all a little bit southern of a rainfall. I'll show you that. But it is showing pretty much the rain will be in the Ohio Valley and it'll be come across, it'll come across Kentucky, Tennessee, uh, southern Arkansas, northern Louisiana, north half of Mississippi and Alabama. That's pretty much going to be your rainfall for the whole day for Mother's Day. That's going to be the accumulation by Monday. As well as the Midwest with the Dakotas, Montana, Idaho, Washington, there's going to be some rainfall for y'all. This right here in the northeast, this actually pops up later that night. And this right here in the south is actually in the evening time. You're going to get this rainfall during the day, in the early evening. And when you get to later evening, this is going to what's going to crew up later evening into Monday morning. Now to do a little comparison with the Euro, as you start early in the morning, it shows the surface low pressure, same energy, same power, same place. Uh, but as it moves throughout your early morning, 7 a.m. into the afternoon, it expands the storms a little bit sooner uh, in the south. Like I said, the Euro shows that this would be more of a southern, uh, it'd be more of a southern system more than it will be for the for the Ohio Valley in the north. And then as you go through your afternoon and your night, you see the storms are still in the south as the pressure system moves off. It will leave some rainfall. However, I'm not showing any tornado threats. So you don't need to worry about that. Now the Euro does show that it's a little bit more of a wind gust that's going to be passing with these storms. But early in the morning it shows it could be a 40 to 50 miles per hour pocket that passes through Oklahoma and Kansas 
uh, GFS showed it was a bigger pocket. But as you move through your morning into your afternoon, you can see some high winds does pass through uh, Mississippi and Tennessee as it goes towards Kentucky for the evening. And it does get some 50 miles per hour winds before it leaves. So it is showing that there will be some 40 and some 50 miles per hour winds that's with this system as it goes from the central U.S. to the southern half of the Ohio Valley. And the temperatures are about the same with the Euro also. It shows that by noonday, you still got the 40 degree temperatures that's still in this system as it moves across the Ohio Valley. It still shows the Midwest and warm conditions, the Northeast and warm conditions, as well as the South. So that part is pretty much trending between both models. And then Sunday evening, it confirms also that you will be right back into the 40s because of cold air coming in. And with the Euro showing it being a more Southern track, uh, it's showing a little bit more heavier rainfall. Uh, the, the pink is one inch and the red is two to three inches. But you can see how it does show the Ohio Valley. It's a little bit southern in Ohio Valley, but it still shows the same area. This right here in the northeast, this happens late at night uh, going into Monday. And this is actually the heavier rainfall from the Euro for the south because it showed the storm started earlier uh, where the GFS showed that it was a late evening storms. So that's the two differences. Now a little early update on the hurricane season so far. As you can see, our warm temperatures are starting to get warm. Matter of fact, we're right off the coast where we normally get ours off the west coast of Africa. And we also have the Caribbean. But it's showing it's 85 degrees. And all it needs is 80 degrees to support a strengthening tropical storm. Now a little bit more northern is too cold. It's only 71. But a lot of these, when they do come from, of this area, the main MDR would be dropping down the main development region as it goes through the Caribbean and maybe the Gulf or the East Coast. But all the way through the track, you can see it's 80 degrees all the way through it. All we need is just uh, some tropical storms to build up, which we are showing that there is some low pressure systems moving through. They're pretty much stopping by Venezuela. But we are 80 degrees or above all the way to the Gulf already. Now, as far as the East Coast, it's still a little bit cooler, it's 75, so it's not quite ready yet, but our warm air is ready so far for the Caribbean, the MDR, and the parts of the Bahamas as well, 83 degrees. So it's definitely warming up and it is getting ready. However, we do have this dust, this Saharan layer that of, the, of dust that will be coming off of the coast and it is bringing the layer already. Uh, as we all know, dust is one of the killers for tropical storms to form. It does inhibit it from breathing. It just stops all the convective activity. It just weighs everything down. And instead of going up, it goes down. So it does take away a lot of the strength. And if you look over here, you can see that we are starting to get a dust layer coming through and it is already starting to travel. So it's not real, real heavy, but it is, it is Saharan layer. It is dust in the atmosphere. So this right here, it will stop that area from forming anything uh, anytime soon so far. So that's a good thing. Bad thing is, uh, that means that if we do get anything anytime soon, it will be quick and close to home and it will be in the Caribbean. Now that's all the information I could gather for you for Mother's Day. So I do hope it does help you. And if it does give you a little bit of insight of what could be coming and what to expect, do me a favor and do other mothers and other people a favor that's traveling. Share this video, take this time, share it on social media, let people know what is coming so they know what to do and plan accordingly. Thank you again. God bless every single one of y'all. Y'all know I'm so glad to have y'all. I want to praise God as I always do. I'm going to play this for you, this NAM 3K. It will stop right before Sunday so you won't see too much of what's going on with the weather. You will see it start to build up, but it's not showing anything big by NAM 3K neither. Uh, but we do have things to worry about. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth 
righteousness, and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great in his mercy towards them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgression from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of, a, of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting, upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children. To such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his host, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord. O oh, my soul. Amen. God bless you all today. I appreciate y'all for taking the time out, coming to my channel, showing support. I love you all. I hope you have a very, very blessed day. All glory does go to God. God of Jacob. Amen. <laughs> God bless you all.